Hello and welcome. I am shooting a vlog today. I'm going to go to South Austin, someplace I don't go that often, but I like, and just sort of wander around, see some places I know that I like, go some places maybe I haven't been, and I'm gonna take you with me. It's my weekend, even though it's not really the weekend. So yeah, last night I went to this really cool bar called Lala's. It is a Christmas-themed bar. It was a going-away party for my coworker, Lauren. She's the one that gave me the nice goblet so that was really fun and I don't know it just sort of showed me that like the more I put myself out into the world the more I get back from it so that's why I'm pushing myself today to go out and actually do something instead of just binge watching the Great British Baking Show all day which admittedly is a very inspiring show I think I'm also going to bake a carrot cake today and I really want to bake some pretzels too I don't know I'm gonna take you with me I'm gonna shoot whatever I end up doing yeah see you in the car Alrighty, so I just ate some lovely tacos. Oop, I just spilled the entire contents of my purse out. That's okay. Oop, and it's still falling. <laughs> ate some lovely tacos at Torchy's. My go-to order is a fried avocado taco with queso. I love it. I should just make it myself, to be honest. I think panko breadcrumbs in my air fryer would be perfect. I'm at Silker Park now. I'm gonna walk around, walk off those tacos, check back in in a bit. Wow, okay. This is my first time ever being out in public and actually talking to the camera. This is scary. And my face is kind of shielded, but it's very bright. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if I had moved to downtown Austin, if I would have ended up liking the city more, because it's such a different feel. Like, I feel like I'm in suburban hell where I am. Down here, it's actually cool. There's people, they're young, they're fit, they're walking around. Uh, and there's a lot to do and I don't know. I mean, I know it's COVID and it's not quite the same. I don't know, it's, it's such a wonderful day. I can't believe it's almost 100 degrees and it's like October 11th. You know where we are, you see the flags? It's High Park Market, baby. I'm quite concerned that my nose somehow got sunburnt despite my wearing a hat. We're at Hyde Park Market. I need, I think, two to three more stouts for a video that I'm shooting this week. So that's all I'm gonna buy because I have probably at least a dozen beers in the fridge that I have never tried before that are brand new to me. And so we don't need to add to that at all. Yeah, let's be real. Didn't follow the prompt 100%, uh, but mostly did, but kind of didn't. Let me show you what I got. All right, I got a Dragon's Milk White Stout. I recently had the Pumpkin Spice Latte White Stout, really enjoyed it. I got this Convict Hill Oatmeal Stout. Uh, I know my boyfriend really likes this one. And then I got this. I'm not even sure what this is. I have been passing over Blue Owl Brewing for months now because I thought they made exclusively ciders and seltzer waters, but they actually make beer. This is a Sour Wee Heavy with peat malt. And then I got, finally, from Avery. I had not seen this one before. It's Pomona Barrel Aged Tart Ale with pomegranate and blueberry. I was just thinking, uh, since I've been eating a pomegranate almost every day, how much I would like to try a pomegranate beer. And I manifested it. <laughs> And it happened today. So I'm here to make some pretzels from scratch, homemade, soft on the inside, hard on the outside, golden brown pretzels. Now in the past, when I've tried to bake for you, it's not gone as planned. So uh, I'm leaning, I'm gonna move the camera over my shoulder. We're just gonna go with it. Maybe I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. Maybe I'm gonna just put a little uh, tune to it. Like, you know, something a little upbeat, circus-like even. We're gonna see how it goes. Nonetheless, she persisted. I think the problem I had with my challah was that I did not knead it enough. And although the recipe I'm currently using for these pretzels isn't telling me to knead a whole lot, I'm gonna do it anyway. I've read a few other recipes and they do say to knead a bit. 
and this dough feels a little dry. I'm a little nervous. I cannot wait to buy a mixer. That's starting to feel a lot better. It feels like a dough now and less floury. I think that challah bread was just so freaking heavy. It was eight, eight and a half cups of flour or something insane. I'm gonna call it on that. My beautiful dough. All right, so all I've gotta do now, oof. Ooh, baby, is oil this sides of this, and then I'm going to cover it in plastic wrap and let it rise. I think this dough has risen quite nicely. I need to divide this into eight. I'm just going to, since I don't have like a fancy terror, maybe I should just do like a, yeah, that worked. Okay. So I watched a video on how to do this. Basically, we're gonna roll her out. I should wipe this counter down a little better, I think. Ah, I feel like I want it to be so thin. Ugh. Everyone's on a quest to be thin, even less purple. So we twist it, twist it again, and bada bing, bada boom, it's a pretzel. All right, well, here goes nothing. About 30 seconds on each side in this crazy cool water. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Oh no, she's falling apart. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. Alrighty, there they are, ready to go in the oven. This one actually looks like a pretzel and the crazy thing is they smell right. They smell like pretzels, so I'm really hoping they're gonna turn out. I'm super excited. I can't believe I made pretzels. Look at these pretzels. In all, oh, sorry, I'm eating one. In all of their glory. And also check out this ghetto baking sheet that I created out of a cupcake tin. They are really good. They taste exactly how a pretzel should be. If you can hear that, they're pretty hard. I would say my pretzels are a success. Yay! Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. I'm sick of filming myself. I don't wanna get the tripod back out. And I don't really have anything else to say. So it was a fun two days, actually. This is, time is an illusion, as is this video. I spent today and yesterday gallivanting around Austin, which is where those shots came from. And then I made the pretzels today. I walked so much and yeah, I need to just relax now before I go back. I was gonna try to post this video on my Monday, I think I'm gonna have to post it on Tuesday because I just don't think I'm gonna get it done tonight. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, share it with a friend. That's the big one. If you could share this video with a friend who also likes pretzels, dude, it would make my day. I need, I need to reach the world and I can do that through you. All right, goodbye. Bye.